the ground beneath our feet feels steady, firm, and silent. But deep below that calm surface, the earth is never still. It shifts, it stretches, it grinds quietly, invisibly, until something snaps, a jolt, a roar. The earth moves and everything changes. What is tearing the planet apart from within? Why does the ground betray us without warning? How can silence turn into destruction in just one second? This is the story of earthquakes. Not just the shaking, but the hidden forces that make our world move. For thousands of years, people have wondered why the ground shakes. Long ago, some believed it was because of giant animals moving under the earth. Others thought it was the anger of the gods. Earthquakes felt mysterious and frightening. Today, we have a better understanding. But even now, they still surprise us. Earthquakes are not just about shaking buildings or moving ground. They are part of a much bigger story. A story that begins deep below the surface, where the real power of our planet hides. At the center of this are Earth's tectonic plates. Think of the Earth's surface as a giant puzzle made of huge pieces that move slowly. These plates float on a softer layer below them, pushed by heat and motion from inside the planet. Over millions of years, the plates move, crash into each other, or pull apart. Sometimes they make new oceans. Sometimes they form mountains. And when two plates slide past each other, when friction stops them, but pressure builds, earthquakes happen. Most earthquakes happen where these plates meet. One of the busiest areas is the Pacific Ring of Fire. It looks like a big horseshoe around the Pacific Ocean, passing through countries like Japan, Indonesia, Chile, and the US. This zone has more than 75% of the world's volcanoes and many earthquakes. Here, the Pacific Plate is always pushing and sliding under other plates causing frequent and powerful earthquakes. Another active area is South Asia. The Indian plate is slowly pushing into the Eurasian plate. This push created the Himalayas, the world's tallest mountain range. The mountains are still rising. Each small movement brings deep and sometimes deadly earthquakes. And it's not just near the edges of plates. Even areas far from these edges can have strong quakes. In the early 1800s, a series of large earthquakes shook the middle of the U.S. in the new Madrid seismic zone. The shaking was so strong, people said the Mississippi River flowed backward. To study earthquakes, scientists use tools called seismographs. These sensitive instruments record ground movements and help scientists know where and how strong a quake was. Earthquake strength is measured with the moment magnitude scale which has mostly replaced the old Richter scale. A small quake, like a magnitude three, might not even be felt, but a seven or eight can cause massive damage. Still, strength isn't the only thing that matters. How deep the quake is, the kind of ground it hits, and how prepared people are, all affect what happens. History has seen many deadly earthquakes. In 1556, a quake in China's Shanxi province killed over 800,000 people. The deadliest earthquake ever recorded. In 1755, a huge earthquake hit Lisbon, followed by a tsunami and fires. The whole city was destroyed. This event changed science, architecture, and even philosophy in Europe. In more recent times, the 2010 earthquake in Haiti caused great suffering made worse by weak buildings and a slow emergency response. In 2011, Japan had a powerful quake that caused a tsunami and a nuclear disaster in Fukushima. In March 2025, a 7.7 .7 earthquake hit near Mandalay, Myanmar, killing over 3,000 people. The damage was severe. An ongoing conflict made rescue efforts harder. Sometimes underwater earthquakes push large amounts of water. This causes a tsunami. 
A series of long waves that can cross entire oceans as fast as a jet plane. When these waves reach shallow coastlines, they rise up and hit with huge power. In 2004, a strong quake near Indonesia caused a tsunami that killed over 230,000 people in 14 countries. It was one of the deadliest disasters in human history. Even after years of study, earthquakes are still very hard to predict. Scientists can tell which places are more likely to have quakes and can guess when a big one might happen. But they still can't say exactly when, where, or how strong it will be. Some countries like Japan and Mexico have early warning systems. These systems detect the first small waves of a quake and send alerts before the stronger waves arrive. Even a few seconds of warning can help people take cover or stop machines, saving lives. To learn more about earthquakes, scientists use many tools. Seismometers around the world listen for ground movements. GPS stations measure the slow motion of the Earth's crust very accurately. Satellites watch for changes in the shape of the land from space. And in some places, sensors are placed deep underground to catch the smallest shifts in rock. Still, the Earth can surprise us and often shakes with little warning. Not all earthquakes are natural. Some are caused by people. In recent years, places like Oklahoma have had more earthquakes because of fracking. This process uses water pushed deep underground to get oil and gas, but it can raise pressure along fault lines. Other human-made quakes are linked to big dams, deep drilling, or storing carbon dioxide underground. One of the best ways to reduce earthquake damage is by building smarter in places where earthquakes are common. Buildings are designed to stay standing during shaking. Strong materials, deep foundations, and shock-absorbing systems help protect them. Some buildings sit on base isolators, big rubber or steel pads that let the building move without breaking. These designs have saved many lives, especially in countries like Japan, Chile, and New Zealand. Some earthquakes bring strange mysteries. In rare cases, people see odd lights in the sky before or during a quake. These earthquake lights are still not fully understood. Some scientists think they come from electric charges in stressed rocks. There are also slow slip events where plates move so slowly that it's hard to detect. And sometimes many small quakes happen over days or weeks in one area. These earthquake swarms are complicated and don't always lead to a big quake. Earthquakes don't just happen on Earth. The moon has moonquakes, which can last longer because the moon's surface is different. NASA's InSight mission found Mars quakes, showing that Mars also has activity under its surface. Even faraway moons like Io, which orbits Jupiter, shake because of strong pulling forces from their planet. For people living in earthquake zones, being prepared is very important. They should know safe spots in their homes, practice drills, and keep supplies like food, water, and flashlights ready. Securing heavy items and making buildings stronger can help a lot when a quake hits. The story of earthquakes is really the story of Earth itself. From moving continents to rising mountains, earthquakes have shaped our planet. They can be dangerous and hard to predict, but they also show us that Earth is always alive and changing. A planet that never stands still and that was the story of earthquakes. Not just a look, but a journey through Earth's powerful moves. Like, share, and subscribe to The Nature's Diary for more amazing nature stories. See you next time.